Morning everybody, I'm Jim with Zero Three Studios and you're on the Zero Three Studio YouTube channel right now where I share everything I possibly can about marketing in general and specifically digital marketing. Now, the big difference with myself and a lot of channels is I tie a lot of what I do into traditional business practices and business marketing practices. Uh, it isn't a blanket thing that you do with digital marketing. However, I do believe it's mostly digital nowadays and some of the terrestrial type marketing that you might do through tele television and radio and print and those sorts of things are still relevant and often forgotten in this process. Uh, but today I am going to talk about Facebook videos and specifically how to make one that actually works. So what happens with most of my clients before they come to me is they'll go on, they'll throw a Facebook Live up, They'll, they'll get a video made, they'll pay you know, 1000 1200 $2,500 to have a two minute video that they throw up on their Facebook page and there's no purpose to it. When I say purpose, the video has purpose. If it's made professionally, they usually have a storyline and they have a lot of content shoved into a two minute, three minute video, but there's no marketing purpose for it because if I throw up a lengthy video on Facebook and I've never done anything to cultivate the audience to watch that video, they're not gonna watch it. No matter what you do, no matter how good your video is, they're not gonna watch a video more than 15 to 30 seconds long. Now, when I say cultivate, you have to really kind of look at what Facebook is. It is not a place you're gonna sell. When someone's ready to really get into the sales uh, journey and they're, they want to watch a two, three minute video, they're so far down that, that journey that they've invested time, they've done some research and they wanna know more. They're kind of validating why they're working with you to a point before they make the conversion or close the sale. Uh, what your Facebook videos need to do though, because Facebook is an awareness platform, it is very much not a sales platform. You can sell on Facebook. Do not get me wrong, but the majority of what you do on Facebook is awareness campaigns. Basically, you're saying, hey, here's who we are and what we do and what we're about. Your first video that someone needs to see is a short 15 to 30 second video. And really, I stress the 15 second mark. That is a flash in the pan about your slug line. Make it short and sweet. That's what a slug line is. It's Here's the problem we face, and here's the end result working with our product. Now, what that looks like is simply in the first six seconds, you need to have your hook. So when you're thinking about making a Facebook video, you need a hook. You need something that makes someone watch that last seven seconds of that 15 second video. Now, the average view time on Facebook right now I believe is closer to four or five seconds. And when you're looking at your analytics, this is where a lot of people get confused. I've got a client right now, he gets a amazing reach. He gets about a million people a month will, will cycle through his, uh, his Facebook page. Sometimes a million people a week, depending on what season he's in. And that's great numbers, but he spends all this time and effort previously on two minute videos, one minute videos. And then when I go, when I dug into his analytics, I go and I show him why he, why his conversion rate is not working for his, it's an event based uh, website, why his events aren't selling tickets on the presale. It's because the average view time on these 60 second videos is four seconds. The average amount of people that watch more than half the video is like 13%. That blows any conversion rate average out of the water for making pre-sales on that video effort. And that's all he do has done to this point. And I'm trying to get him to understand the amount of money he spends, the amount of traffic he's getting he's actually exposing people to more of a negative experience because if they're not gonna watch the entire video, they're probably not gonna rewatch another one. And he, the consistency, once again, can, you can have good consistency and you can have bad consistency. The bad consistency that he is uh, executing right now is training his people to tune out his message. So it's almost a three-step process. 
You, and there's layers to this process. If you're trying to get a conversion, whether that's a lead or a home sale or someone to come into your car lot or someone to buy a ticket to your event or come into your bakery, whatever that is, you need to take a cold audience that is unaware of what you do, who you are, what it is you're trying to tell them and give them a small taste. And that taste has to have a hook on it. It has to be something that makes them go, hmm, that seven seconds, that 10 seconds, that 15 seconds that I paused to watch this video was worth it. And I didn't feel like I was being sold to. I don't feel like I was being baited into you know, taking another step. It just simply has to satisfy that person to make them aware of your brand and your product. Once you've done that, and I would say, generally I encourage people to make two to three of these 15 second videos. And we're not gonna get into the targeting aspect, we're gonna get into the mentality aspect of what people are in investing their money and time into in video creation. Because there's a system in Facebook that you can set up a sequence of events to show someone that watches one video, make sure they see the second video and make sure they see the third video. And you can walk them down, you can give them the opportunity to walk down this video trail to get to the point where it is safe to offer them the option to click on a button to buy, leave their email, make, send a message, whatever that step to get them to that buy button is, that's the conversion you're looking for on Facebook because they're not gonna buy on Facebook. They're gonna have to go to another website, to another landing page that is not Facebook to be able to buy that. And there's a whole caveat there because Facebook doesn't want you to send people away from uh, Facebook. So the, really the best way to do that is gonna be in paid advertising because when you pay them to send them away from a website, they're more than happy to let you do that. But to try to do that organically can really throttle your traffic. Now, in the case of this one client, his traffic is so big because he does uh, have a history, he does put a ton of money into paying for advertising, but he's just throwing it into it and not putting it to work for him. So let's go back. So we make one, two, hopefully three 15 second videos that are more cultural based, more about the audience. It's someone that, let's take the event, someone that is interested in this type of event and just gets a real quick, fast paced, very choppy cut, boom, 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 boom. Here's what's going on in the first six seconds. When they see that, it catches their attention it instantly pulls their, their mind, their thinking into, ooh, what is this? And then once you get past that five, six, seven second mark, then you provide information a little bit, not a direct buy now, not a direct anything. Maybe you flash a date. Maybe you show people coming and buying tickets, or maybe you show people lining up for the event. And it lets people know in that 15 seconds, there's something happening I want to pay attention to this. And then you do an uh, out roll or a post roll that maybe gives a little bit more information about maybe it fl you flash your website or maybe you talk, you show something that indicates there's another step to the process. But you don't ask directly, you don't push it on them heavily in these first three videos. Now, you do three videos like that when you get your targeting set up. When someone watches one, they go into a category and we won't go into the mechanics of this yet. That'll be a separate video. But the idea is of making these free videos is to make sure someone gets the exposure to this to validate that they're in, that you've done your job, that you've made them from an unaware, cold viewer to someone that's warm, someone that understands there's something going on and I kind of like what I'm seeing because I watch videos one or two or one, two, and three. Now, the next series is a little bit longer. You can probably pull 35 to 45 seconds and you can be a little bit more direct. So every video gets longer and longer. So this middle video, maybe you have one or two that pull a little behind the scenes or something that's a little more detailed, something that really starts to show the showmanship of the storytelling of your product or your offer. Maybe it's where people start to give testimonials. Maybe it's some, something that just validates that, hey, what you've been watching on those short videos has a little more information, and here's just a little more information. Now here it's okay to put a get more info button on or message for info or something where you can set up an automated sequence in your messenger through this where they can get the answers to move them further down to get them onto your buying page that is not Facebook. 
Uh, but these two videos in the middle, 35, 45 seconds, I very rarely want to see a 60 second video in the middle, but you can give a little more info, but make sure it's consistent that the the, the, the craftsmanship and the video work and the storytelling is very much in line so they don't feel like they're watching something brand new, but they understand that this is part two of what they watched in that shorter video. And then the last video, it can be that big two minute video. It's something that you can do that really dives deep and gives all the angles and aspects and has the selling feature in it. Or it can be a short video again that just says, hey guys, You've learned from one and two if you've done it right, and I prefer this method. Give me video one short, give me video series two a little longer, and then go back to a 20 second, 30 second video and video three that gets to the point because if they've watched all the sequence, when they get to video three, they're primed, they're ready, they know what's going on, they know there's a date or there's an offer or there's a product, or there's limited quantity, or there's a start date, whatever that information is that you share in video two, they understand this and they've proven they're gonna watch, they're interested because they spend the time to watch this video. Now, when you get to video three, I prefer a shorter one, some people prefer a longer one. I think a shorter one though, once again, but because you can kind of go stale with your content when you're trying to offer somebody this type of a format. Give them a short, I prefer, 30 second video that has the call to action, that has the, this is going down now, this is happening now, buy your tickets now, uh, go here, buy now, get it before Christmas, uh, whatever it is, before, you know, make that a very aggressive sales video, but still carry the message and the content from the previous two. Now, that sounds like a lot of work, but if you're working with a company that's making proper video uh, storyboarding, it's really one long video that you shoot that you condense down into each one of these uh, smaller videos. Uh, so your two minute video, maybe you shoot that anyways and you put that on your website or on your YouTube page, whatever channel is more appropriate for long form content because that is not Facebook, is not Instagram, it's not Twitter. You put that on someplace that should exist and then you edit that video down so you get the consistency in the content. You're taking one effort in your uh, video production aspect and then your editing process is a little longer because you're making several videos. This has been a huge secret that I've had for years. I use this in the real estate industry like nobody's business. When I shoot a video for a real estate company, I go in and I shoot almost a full, full television episode of that house. And then I create about six different bits of content that go out to various things. We have some that are for direct email marketing. We have some that are for social media gathering uh, data in our pixel uh, operation that we operate. I have some that go into YouTube. I, you know, that whole video, I take that one afternoon and I shoot a very, very big piece, but it gives me what I need to provide enough information to have enough marketing content to build a buyer's journey. Uh, if you go out and you shoot one and then you say, okay, now let's shoot another here and another here, another here, you're paying for two or three videos that you really only, you know, that might be two, three minutes long in concept that are only 15 seconds long. Shoot one video and make it detailed, make it big and edit it down. Now, that's a lot. I know it's a lot. I'm considering doing a step-by-step, -step, we'll create a video right here on this YouTube page to walk you through this process. Uh, it's the holidays. I did make a commitment to everybody here that watches, takes the time to spend on this channel to show you how to do this. And I'm going to do this three videos a week. That's my commitment. I'm going to try and exceed that, but I'm committing to three videos a week. So if I start a video series on how to shoot a video, uh, I'm, I want some feedback. I'm gonna need something from you guys to show me that you're consuming this content, that this is something you want me to repeat. Now, I'm a content marketer. I've been doing this before YouTube, before Facebook, before Twitter, before Instagram, before all of those things. I've been doing this really from the infomercial days. So I have a lot of experience in how people interact with media and how to get your message across in long form content as well as short form content. And what I've learned is if you're fishing for leads, or you're fishing for an audience, I should say, Facebook is great for this. But if you're looking for sales, 
you need to take them from Facebook and move them into another platform. And it's a process and it can't happen with one single video. It can't happen with a two minute video. Think about the last time you were on your Facebook feed. Did you stop at every video and watch the entire thing? No, you spin, you spin, you spin. And sometimes it just depends when it pauses that three seconds that you watch, if it doesn't hook you, you don't make it to seven seconds. But if you can get someone to watch seven seconds and get the majority of your content in there with a hook, that's how you get them to watch 50%, 60%, 90% of your video. It also helps you retarget more effectively. I hope that's not too fast. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, hit them below. If you like what you're hearing here, there's gonna be more content just like this. Subscribe follow, wherever that button is, but this YouTube channel is getting ready to spring the life. So I want to keep in contact with you guys. I'm not here to sell you anything. I do offer products. I'll leave that up to you guys to follow that breadcrumb trail and tell me if it's something that will help you. Uh, but I am here to help shed light on the content side of the marketing because a lot of content gets made like the new client that I have that has been making gr actually great content. The videographer he uses, great. I'm not usually one that gets involved with a client if I'm not doing the entire operation, but the quality of their content's great. The, the hard part is to get them to rethink what they're doing, how they're making that content, and then I'm here to use it properly. So the numbers don't lie. We're also gonna teach you how to read your Facebook uh, business profile, read your Facebook uh, business manager, how to take those numbers and understand what they mean and put them to work in favor of your business. So that's it, Jim, Zero Three Studios. You can find me on Facebook at Zero Three Studios there as well. I'll throw links all down below and that sort of thing. I'm really trying to find my voice here. I've hid behind a camera for like 15 years. I'm just starting to peel out and really try to find how to put my personality out. I tried the collar thing. I tried uh, just really finding my own skin and you know what? I think it might just be hoodies and a hat and just kind of talk to you guys like I would any client that I get excited to work with. So I'm excited to help you guys. I'm excited to work with you. I consider everyone that watches this a client, so you're gonna get 100% of everything I can offer you. Leave a comment. Might take me a day to get into the workflow of answering these things, but if you ask, I will answer. If you have a question that's good enough, I will even make a video to help answer your question directly too. So that's it. Hope this helps. Get out there, be social, guys.